So Dogecoin is sitting at 39 cents, 39.9. It's almost 40 cents. And yesterday we were here somewhere and we were close to 40 cents. It did go up towards 42.9 almost. But that's a big wick. And we talked about 42 cents as the first line of mini resistance and 44 cents being our resistance and our support that I offered was always the same 34 cents. But the thing is that uh, Dogecoin is not able to hold on to these areas and the more time it spends, the more it is creating a barrier structure. But of course we are missing a confirmation. So what we here see here is one shoulder, this is the head and this is the second shoulder. Now this structure is not very clean, it's a bit ugly, but the head and shoulder is there and it's a little bit off uh, as per the rules. Generally the rule says that the right shoulder should not be bigger than the left shoulder. In this case the right shoulder has a wick and is bigger. Technically it shouldn't have been, um, but it is. And the reason I gave you 42 cents um, area was just because of this because we had a double bottom here and this was the middle line of it. So the neckline was at 42. Yesterday it tried to do a fake out of it or just take, take the stop loss area from people. So it created a wick. It was just one scary move up. And of course, afterward, it just continued to go down. Now, Dogecoin can turn this thing into a bullish case scenario as well. I'm not saying it's getting bearish or anything. It's still above its support. It's sitting somehow um, very close to its resistance of 44 cents. It's far from 34 cents. So really good from all those perspectives. I'm just sharing that if we create this head and shoulder structure, then we have a closer area instead of 34 to tell us that, okay, we are going to bleed and even 34 will not hold. And that is this structure. Now, if Dogecoin comes down here, it will be at this neckline. From here, it will have two choices. One is this bottom. It comes down here and it delivers on this barrier structure and shoots down. Or it reverses from here and it ends up creating a double bottom and starts shooting up. But everything depends on this neckline, what happens there. I've discussed these things uh, with you in other videos as well. I make 10 videos, so I end, uh, end up showing, uh, I end up having a lot of discussions over structures. I can discuss things in complicated manner, but there is no point of uh, confusing confusing you or showing you my technical skills. The whole point is to identify structure in an easy manner so you could see it as well yourself and then make your own decisions. So this support line is at 36 cents, 36.6. Can I round it up somehow? Yeah, I can call it 36 cents. That would be easier to remember. It's not 36 cents, it's 36.6, but I'll call it 36 cents. So th that way I will not forget. As long as it holds 36 cents, you can still expect it to rally towards 44 cents and go higher and whatever targets you have in your mind. The moment it loses this area of 36 cents, it is definitely going to go towards 34 and it is definitely going to break that and it is going to go down. I think the first stop, if it delivers on 36 cents, the first stop it will have, uh, it will be at 30 cents. That is where the psychological support area is. We will have a good crazy reaction there, but we will talk about it once we get there. Right now, we don't have anything else to add. You can see the moment it went up here, it has only started going sideways with a bit of anomaly, but the situation hasn't changed, which just shows indecision in the market. And it also means that either this is an accumulation to pump up or this is a consolidation to dump down. And the confirmation is at 36 cents. So watch out for that as what happens to 36 cents right now. It is very close to 40 cents is 39.99 cents so almost 40 cents by the time you're watching video you'll have a 
bit more clarity which direction is Dogecoin picking. Resistance is at 44, support is at 36 cents. Will it break 36 or not is a question. If it doesn't break, it will get bullish. And next that you see, I, I don't think it will stop at 44, to be frank with you. I think it will then go towards 50 as well. But 36 cents is critical. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or I have touched on a topic uh, and I, you expect me to explain a bit more, I'll try my best to explain that to you in the comments. Leave a comment. And I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe because if you're not interacting with the video or if you're not subscribed, you're not going to see all the 10 videos that I make every day. You're going to miss out on it. And I think you are educated enough to understand what to subscribe and what not to. Because if you want to miss out on it, then why not? Uh, it's for your own good and you should know better what is good for you.